lot of these outbreaks um, are have happened in long term care homes um, and outside of health facilities. Um, the largest outbreaks of the virus are on migrant worker dominated industries. So that includes, um, you know, we heard in Alberta um, meat processing plants where there are many migrant workers who are working there, as well as, um, you know, Green Hill produce. Um, uh, Byland nurseries, um, you know, uh, these um, where agricultural migrant workers are working. And, we, and when talking about care, um, uh, some of the folks who really never um, make it into the conversation are care workers. So migrant care workers who um, often live in their employer's homes um, and uh, take care of the family and the children and do the socially reproductive labor that is so important. Um, but migrant care workers don't have access, again, to rights and protections because of their um, temporary status here. So during the crisis, we were hearing about uh, migrant care workers who uh, were not allowed to leave the home because uh, employers thought that migrant women were the vectors of the virus, that they would somehow uh, bring the virus and transmit it to um, uh, the, the family, right? This is all um, very much along the lines of colonial uh, racial hygiene politics, right? We also heard about um, employers who um, uh, uh, fired migrant care workers um, for this along the same, um, you know, racially um, prejudiced fears um, and uh, many uh, migrant care workers were left without homes, without access um, to um, any sort of stability, um, who have had to stay with um, you know, move from house to house or stay with um, potentially abusive partners because um, they had nowhere else to go. So for precarious work, um, when thinking about precarious work and especially care and health care, we have to know that a lot of the, um, a lot of personal support workers are racialized um, migrant women. Um, and uh, as are uh, care workers who do the very essential uh, work of making the economy run and making sure that we are cared for, right? And so if they are doing that work, we have to ensure that they are, again, able to access uh, rights and protections um, that come with stable status here.